Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here and I appreciate each and every one of you. So we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do some video series where we are going to fix up my workshop, not only uh, physically, uh, so I can spend more time out here doing more projects outside, showing you more hands-on projects, but uh, I'm going to have a little office in here as well, but we are going to put uh, technology all through, all throughout this. So, and then I also have a barbecue channel that's going to be starting, and then we have a blacksmithing channel. But let me show you what we're going to do today. My workshop is about um, 25 feet from the house. The problem is I can't run anything underground, and I can't run anything aerial. But I need to get Wi-Fi out here. So what I'm going to do, and what we're going to do is we're going to take a close-up look of all these, all these products. So. For the Wi-Fi in the garage, we are going to use the Unify AC mesh. So this guy will get mounted out here in the garage. We're going to power it with the Unify 60 watt switch. And the reason that I chose this to put out here um, is because I'm going to I'm going to actually be running uh, the Real Link camera. And so I have to have standard PoE. I can't use passive PoE. Otherwise, I'd use one of the new Beta XP switches. So we've got this guy. Then my daily driver for a phone is going to be the Grandstream uh, WP820. Originally, this was the WP800. They have renamed the model the WP820, so that way they can introduce other phones in the line. And this is the phone that we're going to concentrate on today. So. We'll come back to this in a minute, or this is the piece of the network we're going to concentrate on. Then the one of the other pieces, of course, is going to be the Real Link camera that you saw when I introduced you to Real Link. So this guy, I'll get mounted out here. And then for connectivity between the buildings, what we are going to do is we are going to use the Microtik wireless wire. So this can be powered with uh, 24 volt passive or standard PoE. Uh, it's one gigabit symmetrical. Now, I say that, <coughs> and they say it has a range of 100 meters plus, and then it can shoot through windows. Well, I can't mount anything on the exterior of these buildings either, so we're gonna try to shoot through these buildings at about 30 feet, something like that, um, and I'm hoping that we get a good connection. So you're gonna see the whole thing, whether it works or not. You're gonna see it. So let's talk a little bit uh, about this guy. And by the way, uh, I will put links to all these products down in the description, uh, except this. I don't know if you can get this on, on Amazon yet. We'll have to check that out. So this is the WP820. It is a Wi-Fi, pure Wi-Fi uh, cordless phone from Grandstream. It does have a speaker phone. It comes with a, comes with a belt clip. It's two lines, it runs Android. So let me see what this looks like here. All right, so you can see that uh, it's got the time. We got three buttons here, so we can, we can go ahead and unlock this guy. It tells you uh, what to do to unlock it. And you can see Saturday. So we've got do not disturb. We can hit do not disturb. We've got a full menu, contacts, call history, uh, diagnosis, voicemail, this is settings, tools, then we have, that's the whole menu there, we can go back, we can go directly into settings. Now this is a, this phone is uh, two lines, you can have two lines on this, so, um, and it, it configures, you know, just as easy as any other Grandstream phone. So right now you can see I have the cordless phone account on it. You can see that that's our our UCM there, the 66.210. The account name is Cordless Phone. The user ID is 5004, which is also the extension. So once we get this up and going, you're going to be able to call me out here in the workshop at extension 5004. Uh, voicemail access number. I don't I don't have voicemail on this, so if you call and don't get it, um, you're not gonna you're gonna be not gonna be able to leave a uh, voicemail and you can see there that account 2 is currently not configured and the accounts and personalized account is will take us uh, to the uh, 
to the same place there. We've got speed dial settings, network settings. So you can see that the Wi-Fi is on. It also has Bluetooth, uh, has the layer three and the layer two QoS. These phones are optimized for QoS and we will optimize, try to optimize our network. So that's one other thing. So when you're looking at Grandstream APs, Grandstream specifically builds uh, QoS into the access points. I don't know how that's gonna work with this. So if I get not so good call quality with this, we will swap this guy out for the Grandstream outdoor AP. It'll be a little overkill for the garage, uh, for, the, for the shop, but I need reliable reliable voice if I'm going to be out here and reliable Wi-Fi. So um, let's see what else do we have here. Uh, under the additional network settings that was where the QoS was. Um, the Wi-Fi settings. So you can see uh, these are all of the SSIDs that are around me. basic settings, sounds, different sounds. We got silent mode, vibrate mode, adjust your volume, uh, incoming calls, notification. We can have different, different sounds for each of those. Here's the uh, display setup. Language is English and it comes with all these other languages by default, which is pretty nifty. We've got our date and time. You can select 24-hour uh, format, you know, military time. We're not going to do that. We've got advanced settings. Oop, looks like there's a system uh, upgrade available. Paging settings, web, uh, UI access, you can disable that. Syslog, factory reset or reboot. About. So we can go in, look at all the account status. Now you're going to see we're unregistered. I have no network connection out here. System status here. Take a look at the boot version, how much uh, memory we've got available, all that good stuff. Of course, network status is going to show that we are disconnected. Network statistics. So that's it for this video. This is the introduction to all the gear we're going to use. I'm going to put a list over here. It'll have a description or a part number and an image of what it is, and then I'll put the links down below so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up please subscribe please comment and share please follow me on twitter and instagram if you want to talk to us on discord the links down there charlie's our ad man and uh, he does a fantastic job if you want to buy any of the other gear that you see here on the channel there's that amazon link down below if you need networking networking voice over ip uh, or security consulting you can go to h5llc.com down there fill out the contact form and someone will be with you as soon as possible once again i appreciate each and every one of you and we'll see you in the next video